Did I just walk into a Faraday cage, also known as a shield room? Let's find out why you should use an outside antenna while operating HF from a hotel room. Next on AA3K on the go. Hello, I'm Mark. AA3K, and welcome to another episode of AA3K on the go. If you watched my episode on reviewing the one to one mag loop, the first time I really used it in the field was during a work trip here to the same hotel where I did hamming from a hotel room. And I just set it up in the room, figuring nobody would ever know that I was on the air putting headphones in and, <clears throat> and operating uh, CW. FT8, maybe very quietly on phone. During that first attempt and the subsequent attempt or two, I heard basically nothing on the bands. And I wasn't sure if it was the FT817, the one to one mag loop, or the hotel room itself. So that is when I first put a long wire out the window through a tuner and magically signals appeared and I made a few QSOs while on the road. So that has led me to thinking and a short conversation with K8MRD from K8MRD Radio Stuff YouTube channel. Uh, can you do effective HF from inside a hotel room? And my general determination is no. Now, I do not know the exact construction of this hotel, but I, from most that I have seen being constructed, the wall studs or um, even the exterior walls are made from uh, aluminum studs. They're all connected together, effectively creating a shield. And this particular hotel room also has a stucco exterior and they usually use a metal lath underneath the stucco to hold it to the building, even more shielding. So I'm going to run you through the mag loop antenna here inside the hotel room, 10, 15, 20, and 40, just to see how many FT8 signals can be heard. And then I'm going to run the long wire out the window, and we'll run that same test again and see if uh, we hear more signals, essentially. I'm not going to try to make a contact during this, uh, during this event. Uh, just to see how much you can actually hear inside the hotel room versus outside the hotel room. Okay, here's the setup I'm going to be using for the test. Uh, you should all be familiar with my Yesu FT817 and the Jenkopotamus $60 laptop. I've attached the Wonder Wand mag loop directly to the back of the FT817. It was basically designed for that little tight fit with the cables. I don't know if you can see them here that go to the digirig, but it fits together here. I'm also sitting only about three, four feet from the window to the room. And I'm going to set this up to zoom in on the laptop screen. And we're just going to let 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters run for three cycles of FT8 just to see how much was actually captured. And I'll capture this data and save it to a spreadsheet that I will post along with the video. Uh, again, I am not going to try to make any contacts. So. Okay, we're going to be starting on 10 meters here. Uh, this is being filmed at 9.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So 10 meters is probably going to be dead no matter what I do. One cycle is completed. No stations heard. Two cycles completed. Again, no stations heard. And three cycles completed. No stations heard. Let's switch over to 15 meters. We'll run this again for three complete cycles. And I'll turn up the volume on the radio. Hopefully, you can hear because I'm yet to get back to it. 
just hearing it faintly in the background. <clears throat> One cycle. Oops, I forgot to tweak the antenna. Okay. Hearing a few stations on 15 meters. One cycle complete. Two cycles complete. And three cycles complete. So we heard a station, a couple of stations calling CQ and seeing a couple of stations in a QSO. Let's hop over to 20 meters. Okay, now on 20 meters, one cycle, I'll let a whole cycle run here. And I'll turn up the volume so you can hear the FT8 on the radio. Got about eight stations on that cycle. So far, this is doing far better on, as compared to my first attempts in the hotel room here. A couple stations on the second cycle. And about four stations on the third cycle. Okay, let's jump up to 40 meters. All right, at 40 meters now. All right, on 40 meters now, and we'll let three cycles of FT8 run. That was two cycles. And that was three cycles and I did not even hear any FT8 faintly in the background on the radio. I'm not sure how well my mic here is picking that up. Okay, getting the wire set up outdoors took a little bit longer than anticipated. Uh, it got hung up in a tree. I couldn't reach it from the ground. I had to come back up to the hotel room, jiggle it, and finally got it down, got it stretched out enough to be effective. It is running right by the hotel's power transformer, but my initial firing up of the radio here isn't showing any undue electrical noise. Okay, we're going to run the same set of tests, this time with the long wire. Uh, I would have liked to have done the mag loop outdoors, but I forgot to bring a battery with me and there's no convenient outside electrical power uh, in the courtyard area to plug into and run this test like that. Maybe we'll do it part two at some point.
So let's go. Three runs on 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. Again, it's now uh, 9.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, so 10 meters is pretty much posit absolutely positively dead. Swap the camera around here and get started. Well, one station heard, one station. I am not hearing any FT8 tones. Let me... Very, very faintly. I do not know if the camera microphone can pick it up. So there was two passes, uh, two stations calling CQ. Three passes. Oh, now I'm hearing a definite tone. Let me let this cycle complete to see if WSJTX can decode it. Yes, it did. Okay, 15 meters. significantly more signals. Already more stations in the first pass. Four stations in the second pass. And I have not even tweaked up my uh, ZM2 antenna matching unit. And a boatload in the third pass. Excellent. 20 meters. Let's get three nice captures on 20 meters, boat load of stations. Two passes. Passes. Excellent copy. Oh, sorry guys, lost the data. I'm gonna run this again. That's two passes. But definitely already hearing significantly more signals with just an antenna outside the building.
All right, now let's try 40 meters. Now I might tweak up the antenna matching unit. As you can hear, a lot of strong signals before we had nothing on the mag loop indoors. Now I have tried the mag loop from home inside my house and I could hear a decent amount of stations doing a PSK reporter check. I was getting, I was being heard when I was transmitting, though from inside the house I have never made any contacts with the mag loop. That was two passes, but we'll go this one and one more to make sure we have uh, a representative sample of at least three passes. <laughs> Only one that time. Let's let it go another pass. Best laid plans of mice and men. And another boatload of stations and finishing the, the deep decode. And that goes to show you uh, there's a high probability that modern construction techniques for buildings, especially commercial buildings such as a hotel where fire prevention is extremely important, uh, can leave you with a shielding effect and very little in terms of HF signals. Uh, I've done quite a bit of operating which is two meters talking on local repeaters and have not had any particular trouble. But in that case the wavelength you know, for two meters, which is two meters, fits through the window without a problem. 10 meters is definitely, even a quarter wavelength of that is far bigger than the, uh, the double window here in the hotel room. Uh, are all hotels like this? I cannot say. Uh, all the hotels with more traditional stick and wooden stud construction would probably do you decently. You may be able to effectively work stations. Uh, QRP does make it harder. But if you really do want to get out there and make some QSOs while you're traveling on the road for personal or business reasons, and you do bring something like an FT817, IC705, or another QRP rig, or even a full-blown rig, um, you're going to have difficulty inside the room. And I would tend to hesitate to try to run a 100-watt radio at anything close to full power inside a room. Uh, you might uh, upset things in the hotel might upset other guests by uh, causing uh, interference to their equipment or their things tripping the fire alarm system that would definitely not be a good thing so but where there's a will there's a way you can get out and operate hey thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel comment thoughts questions ideas suggestions for follow-up all welcome have a great day this is mark aa3k on AA3K on the go.